welcome everyone back to another one of my videos. Um, this may or may not be the last video, and this video will also be demonstrating my developments in custom missiles. I have been developing some technology that should hopefully make vanilla missiles actually possible. This is part of a series, I'm not going to go over the very basics, you can go watch the other videos, it's not that complicated. So starting with my first attempts, I initially tried to just have a stick of thrusters with guns behind them. I tried this with varying sizes, varying shapes, and varying amounts of guns. They all failed. The reason they failed is because my requirements was for them to have a certain level of agility. That means a specific, and because agility is directly tied to the amount of guns, that means a specific amount, specific ratio of the weight would be the weight of the guns. And that the amount of thrust I would need from the remaining fraction, there is no thrust to weight high enough in the game. The closest and most successful I have gotten was with a stick of propellers, the 1x2 smaller variety, with two guns behind them and tail fins in the middle. What this did was this allowed it to have an insane thrust to weight ratio of about 5. However, it, it just was not good enough. The second reason why this version did visibly curve in the air, but it had two more issues. One, it was incredibly hard to obtain a lock because the way that the guns track, I am still doing testing on this, but I believe that they prioritize center of masses that, that are not their own I think there's also plenty of other conditions such as I, again, I still need further testing, but the guns may or may not try to prioritize whatever is closest to where the gun is already pointing. So if it's pointing at its own center of mass, its own center of mass is where it's already pointing. There, you wouldn't want to prioritize looking away. That's one reason why I failed because it was so hard to get a lock. When it did get a lock though, the reason why it curved so slowly was, well, I could add more guns, but the reason why the turrets worked fine with a smaller amount of guns and why the missiles do not is because of the amount of guns required changes because the airspeed directly influences drag. And the more drag there is, the harder it is to turn. The fins in the middle were to redirect it, and if I didn't have those, it would more or less fall with some momentum. But with them, it can actually turn and adjust its course. So ironically enough, adding more drag, although it did hurt it significantly, it did at least make it in the long term better. And so I had to make the very thing that I have been avoiding from the start. I had to use sensors to read the angle of a smaller bit that was angled by the guns instead of directly applying the guns to the creation. I knew I was going to have to do this eventually for larger creations as it simply became impractical to do it the other way. However, the reason why I avoided doing this was one, unnecessary complications, two, it's very large compared to the size that I'm going for, of, you know, a missile, which is small, and three, it loses precision. The smaller it gets, the smaller that the sensor array is, the more precision it loses compared to just connecting the guns directly to it. Now, what you should hopefully be seeing as I say this is demonstrations of the test vehicle I used for this. Very large, very impractical, but it's only meant to demonstrate 
what the capabilities of this are. I cannot manually turn it. It is turning entirely via the radar thing on top. And as you should hopefully be able to see, it does visibly curve towards the target. It does attempt corrective maneuvers. This is good. This is very good. This means that I might have a way to disconnect the amount of guns I have on a craft from the amount of agility I have on the craft. Because then I, because now I could just add fins and thrusters to help with maneuverability directly rather than just adding more guns as guns are heavy and inefficient. And so how does it perform on an aircraft? Well, first, the setup I should notify was uh, the guidance array. I'm not quite sure what I should call it. The setup that I had is a little bit flawed in the positioning of them, where they sometimes lock up. That can be easily fixed by moving uh, one set forward and another set back, since their location on the missile is irrelevant now. But with the guidance array, which is I think what I will be calling him, I hooked it up to the controls of a plane, and also I hooked up sound things that I forgot the name of to be able to hear a good lock. I am... It's, it doesn't work well, but it does help with debugging. And then I noticed a problem of it kept spinning out. It would not stay stable. It would not stay pointed at the target. It kept going in circles and circles and circles. So I fixed this by applying a small force, a small strength to the servos that the radar bit is connected to. That little bit used to be on zero force. However, by adding a little bit of force, I was able to keep the gun facing forward when not attempting to turn. When it is attempting to turn, the force that the small force that the servo produces is small, so it doesn't do much. However, at this point, even a small help is some help because it turns out it was not effective. It was still struggling to obtain a lock for some reason, which I can still do not know why. And it just was not very responsive, consistent, and it would still spin out for no reason. And I could not solve that. And so I am back to where I started. I still believe that this is possible. I still think I can do it. However, I still also need help. If somebody out there is smart enough to be able to figure out some solutions to this, that would be absolutely wonderful. However, I don't think I personally am currently able to complete this. But there is still hope for the future. The spacebound update has zero gravity areas. It also has zero friction, zero air resistance, and plenty of other factors that make it very, very, very favorable for missiles. I think that with some tuning, I can get a version of an air-to-air -air missile in the spacebound update, or I guess space-to-space -space missile in the air, in the spacebound update functioning. How well how well will it function? Most likely terribly. But working missiles, and that was my goal. Currently, for non-air-to-air -air missiles, I think that's actually plausible and something that can be done. Putting wings and lift and dropping it more like a bomb with with some minor guidance onto onto whatever you're trying to hit i think that could work a lot better stabilize the roll give it some wings to assist in lift so that you can add more guns onto it directly and more tnt and as you don't even need thrust if it's mostly gliding down and from that it should be a lot more practical. 
Also, the thing that I've currently spent my time developing is torpedoes, both for land and water. I, as can be seen from my second video, the drone, the sea combat drone thing, functions perfectly and can turn. The problem is scaling it that down so that it can function on a practical scale. The drone has shown that it's possible, I just need to get something small enough. The reason why the drone worked so well is because it had a lot of dampening from the water, because of the massive amount of water resistance, while also being supported by the water. It didn't need to have a massive thrust to weight ratio because it didn't, there wasn't that much friction. Compared to the ground, there was very little friction, which is why I think torpedoes are possible, both for land torpedoes and water torpedoes. Both of those are still in active development for me, and I have not given up on them, and until the space update comes out, I'll probably be working on them. For the future, I'll probably release uh, more videos when the Spacebound update comes out, assuming I don't procrastinate more. And other than that... Oh, and as a final note, uh, all the quote-unquote mostly functioning creations that I have shown in this video should be in the description and uploaded on the workshop if you want to mess around with it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that you learn something new and attempt to have a little bit of fun with these new and interesting ground that I'm attempting to make.